Shalom. Drilling campaign. Pastor Schulte von Rendsburg. So today I'm going to run through names with you. Just a couple of names to get you going and explain to you where the names come from. And then we'll get to my point. So the first name is Zeus. Greek supreme god, son of Cronus, sky and thunder god, equivalent of the Roman god Jupiter. The next name, Athena, goddess of wisdom, warfare and handicrafts and later syncretized with the Roman goddess Minerva. Next, Hercules. Hercules is the Roman equivalent of the Greek divine hero Heracles, son of Jupiter and the mortal Alcmene. Next, Hermes. Hermes later became the Roman god Mercury. He was the first Olympian deity and herald of the gods, protector of heralds, travelers, thieves and merchants. You always see statues and pictures of him with the wings on his feet and you generally see him holding the rod of Asclepius. Olympus. In Greek mythology, Olympus was the home of the gods who dwelt in fabulous palaces of marble and gold. Mount Olympus is ruled by Zeus and his sister wife Hera. The word Dalit in Sanskrit means divided, split, broken or scattered. In Hebrew it means to draw water. So this is the first one that does not refer to a pagan god. Next, Tamar. In Hebrew means date palm. It's also the daughter-in-law of Judah that he conceived with. It's also a daughter of King David. Again, not referring to a pagan god. Next one, Tanin. In Hebrew literally means crocodile. Next, Leviathan. Leviathan, Hebrew, Leviathan, in Jewish mythology, a primordial sea serpent. In Isaiah 27 verse 1, Leviathan is a serpent and a symbol of Israel's enemies who will be slain by God. In Job 41, it is a sea monster and a symbol of God's power of creation. Next, Karish. In Hebrew, literally means shark, the carnivorous fish, and refers to a person who employs ruthless business practices, is a karish. Now, if you look at the Israel 2022 drilling campaign, these are the names that they've picked for all of the wells that they're drilling, discovering, calling firm wells or completing. Most of them, I'd say 80% of them, named after foreign gods. How many of these are named after the Bible, Yahweh and His provision? All of it leaning towards Greek and foreign gods. And that makes you wonder how they don't realize how they're angering God. Yahweh gave them this provision. Genesis 49 verse 25 From the God of your Father who helps you, and by the Almighty who blesses you with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lies beneath. Deuteronomy 33 verse 13 Blessed of the Lord be his land with the choice things of heaven, with the dew and from the deep lying beneath. Deuteronomy 33 verse 19 they will call peoples to the mountain. There they will offer righteous sacrifices, for they will draw out the abundance of the seas and the hidden treasures of the sand. Deuteronomy 32 verse 12 to 13. The Lord alone guided him, and there was no foreign god with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, and he ate the produce of the field. 
and he made him suck honey from the rock and oil from the flinty rock. Isaiah 45 verse 3 I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden wealth of secret places, so that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by your name. Not Athena, not Zeus, not Heracles, not any of them. Yahweh. Which brings me to Daniel 9 verse 24. Seventy weeks are determined for your people and for your holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. This period, this last week, this final part, which will be the tribulation and Jacob's trouble, is to bring all of this to a head and purify them through fire for all these things, and their reliance on false gods, and their falling away in sin, and their rejection of what God has presented to them. All of this is the plan to purify them and bring them through the other side. This is one more example of an unacceptable display of taking something God has provided to you and naming it after false gods. It sickens me, and I'm hoping some of them are seeing this. I hope this was interesting and that you learned something through it. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.